Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are discussing the class 8 science chapter 4 second part we are discussing today. In our first part already we have discussed about the electricity and the various terms related with the current electricity. Today we are going to see the magnetic effect of electric current. When we talk about the uh, magnetic effect of electric current, what does it mean actually? Now you might have enjoyed playing an electrical bell of your home or the bell of your school where it rings continuously, the striking sound of the bell. Have you ever thought what exactly it is? It's nothing but the use of magnetic effect of electric current. Whenever we talk about the magnetic effect of electric current, it means that they are interrelated. They are interrelated. The Orest had performed the work practicals, a lot of experiment he has done on this particular field and he gave this particular concept actually that uh, if there is a flow of electrical current in the conducting wire then it produces a magnetic field around it and that's why you might have heard about uh, especially the railways they are always announcing that don't come in a vicinity of the overhead wires Overhead wires means with the help of which the trains are getting the their electric supply. Railways are always announcing don't touch that wire or don't come in nearby to that particular wire. Why? Because that particular wire carries a higher potential or the higher electrical current. And once it is carrying electrical current, it produces a magnetic field around it. So it may attract you. So that's why in that particular case, they are always giving a warning that don't come near to that particular wire. So all these things actually uh, shows us that there is a certain relation between the magnetic field and electrical current. And for that, to understand that, they have given one practical form over here, the power supply or the electric current or the electric source is used over here, then the lucky then the electrical bulb and the wire is passed over the wooden box in which the magnetometer is kept or the magnetic compass is kept when we switch on the power supply in this when we switch on this power supply we observe the deflection or we can see the deflection in the magnetic compass and why that Deflection comes because the conducting wire which is passed over this magnetic box start to produce a magnetic field and once the magnetic field is produced automatically there will be a deflection of the magnetic compass. Another uh, good example they have taken over here is of the uh, screw, the metal screw and the wire is bonded on it or the round of a wires on this particular and connected to the power supply means the battery or the another electrical source we can use and as soon as we switch on or we connect to the battery the screw start to show the magnetic property and you can see the one iron needle is attached to this and as soon as you remove this wire if you remove one of the wire of this connection then automatically this will drop down why? Because that screw will lose a magnetic property. From where this is gaining? This wire which is passed over or rounded over on the screw gives a magnetic property to the metal screw. And this particular concept is called as the electromagnet. This electromagnet is a combination of a two words. The electro means for the electricity and the magnet is for the magnetic property. Now, the next part what they have given over here is the electrical bell. As I was talking about at the beginning, about the electrical bell, you might have enjoyed or the school's bell, you might have seen that. What exactly we have? In that, we have the striker which strike 
on the bell continuously to produce the sound. This center part is called as the gong. It's called as the gong. If I want to write down this over here, gong. This is called as the gong of the bell. For the part in this, if we will try to understand exact uh, working of it, you can see over here source of energy wire is connected to the uh, contact screw then there is a metal strip and here we have the electromagnet you can see there's a one u-shape uh, structure on that wire is wounded and the electromagnet is made and this wire goes back to the key and then the source what exactly is happening that we will see when we switch on this electric current passes through it and it passes through this particular metal strip at the same time the electrical current goes through this wire and makes this as an electromagnet so this will start attracting it when this start attracting this hammer will strike the gong and once it's striking at the same time, this connection will be lost because when this will move towards this side, this connection will be lost. Connection lost means the open circuit, then electric current will stop to flow. And once it's stopping, what will happen? This electromagnet will not be a magnet anymore. Means this metal strip which was attracted towards it will go back and again once when it's coming back the connection will be made again and again this will be a magnet and this will be attracted again means this process will go on continuously this process of attraction and leaving will go on continuously and that's why the striker strikes the bell again and again till there is a flow of electrical current once the electric current's flow is stopped the bell will stop ringing so this is about the last topic of uh, current electricity and magnetism